Housewives. Guess who's here? Guess who's back? Let me, I ain't, let me stop saying guess who's back. I ain't gone nowhere. I just be busy doing other things, focused on other things. But hey, beautifuls, I'm just, Jackie is here. I am here. And I know it's been a long time, but hell, I've been doing a lot. So we're going to sit here and chit chat. I'm going to kind of update you guys <laughs> while I do. This is my new simple face. Okay. The, the updated simple face or whatever. I'm going to stop saying five minute faces. I'm going to stop saying quick faces. It's just simple. Okay. That's it. It's simple. You know, I'm tired of beating my face to the gods. You see me looking over here. It's another handy dandy mirror. Okay. So let me tell you what I did off camera. I'm already prepped my skin. Already primed. I pr Ironically, I primed with this. Okay. And then once I let it set for a few minutes, I came with this Fenty you know, setting powder. Are we going to call it setting powder? Whatever. Y'all know what it is. And then I just took and did like this, you know, because y'all know I got an oily T-zone. And that's it, period. So, the you know, the rest of the products are going to do what it do so I don't have to do a whole lot of prepping. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to call this a Fenty Face, though. You know, so I'm just coming under here you know, because I got some, you know, unevenness in the skin. But I'm not going to use a color corrector, like the orange color corrector. I do have one, by the way. I do have it. But I, I just haven't been using that for a while. So I'm going to, I'm going for a more natural face with all, all the you know tips and tricks and whatever so i'm using a concealer that's closer to my skin and i just put it mainly in the center of my face you know whatever you know and then i'm just gonna blend it out i'm gonna wet this beauty blender real quick and I, i'm using my fix plus to wet it i'm not just i'm not using just regular degular water okay so now i'm just gonna Blend it all in. I just want my skin to have like a more, um, not smoother finish, but more, oh, more even tone finish. Okay. But still look natural. Okay. That's what I'm going for. And let me see. I think, and this is Fenty, obviously. Y'all know what it look like. I think this color is 410. Oh. No, 450. This is 450, okay? So it's probably it might be another color that's closer to my skin or whatever. I'm not going heavy with it. Y'all can still see imperfections because I am not perfect, okay? And that's what I want. I, I still want this natural look. So I ain't trying to hide all the imperfections. I'm just trying to get a nice, even skin tone, okay? So that's that. So the next thing I do, me personally, y'all do what y'all want to do. Oh, I'm looking for my brow pencil. I got this one, but it's another one. Y'all know this is my favorite one. This Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills. But i also been using the Fenty one, if I can find it. Because y'all know I don't normally go for a mechanical pencil, okay? But this Fenty one, and I can't find it. Ain't that crap? Oh, that sucks. I believe I emptied my purse. Yeah, I did. I, I can't find It's in this drawer, guys. Like, if I show y'all all these pencils in here, y'all can understand why I can't find it off top. But we're going to work with the, the Anastasia. So, you're going to brush these brows. And then, this is what I do. I ain't no makeup artist. I ain't really a makeup enthusiast anymore because I do not really beat my face to the guys like that anymore. Y'all know Jackie used to go in baby with the beating the face the beating the faceness to the gods. Okay. So anyway, I don't do that anymore. So basically I'm just filling in my brows. Giving me a little tail. 
Okay. And y'all know how I feel about my brows. When I, The more I get into my makeup, the more I feel like the brows shift. So if y'all see me keep playing with my brows throughout the video, y'all already know. If this y'all first time watching my channel, welcome, welcome. So anyway, while I'm doing my brows, let me give you an update on what I've been doing. Now, beautiful, whoever's been rocking with me since I've been on the YouTube, or at least for the last three years. Y'all know what I do for my profession, and y'all know I always have an off season, right? So, but due to COVID, that off season was longer than expected because for one, they extended the tax season. Um, two, I was in the middle of looking for a house and prepping for my move, okay? And y'all heard me right. I said, looking for a house and prepping for my move, but not a move in state, a move out of state, okay? It's a move out of state. Yes, so... And I know y'all like, oh my God, you're no, I'm no longer in the good old state of Virginia. I actually moved to the state of Texas. Okay. So yes, I'm in Texas. And I'm in the Houston area. So shout out to Houston. Um, I know there's a there's plenty of Houston YouTubers here. Um, YouTubers in the makeup game or just regular vloggers daily uh daily vloggers or whatever hello i'm here shout out to y'all shout out to us so but yeah so that's what i've been doing trying to get my life together the listen i started looking for a house in april my goal was to get up out of virginia in march of 2020 but i pushed all of that back because my daughter ended up pregnant with my second grandchild so you know i was talking to her and stuff and she was like, i ready for you to wait till after i have uh you know my you know baby it's a girl baby girl so i got a granddaughter and i have a grandson so which worked out perfect for me it was like basically a win-win for everybody involved it gave me more time to prep even though i feel like can you really have enough time to prep for a move but yeah but anyway took longer than expected to find a home but pay my brows don't mind i should have did my brows off camera you know how i am about my brows but and i can't find the pencil i want to use but normally i use now I use the anastasia for this part back and then i use the fenty mechanical pencil for the front part so but yeah, you know, things never go like you want on video. So anyway, as I keep playing with these brows. Um, yeah, so it took it took a while to find a house, but you know, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of traveling, because I did not do virtual. I actually traveled. Every time I came to look for a home, I traveled. Uh each time I came out here. I extended the trips because there's there's no way I could find a home in a weekend. Not the way what the market is because the market was terrible. Well, I ain't going to say was. It still is terrible because it's a buyer's market. And the reason why it was so difficult for me to find a house was because a lot of people was going through transitions and moving and stuff. <laughs> A lot of people from California were coming to Texas because the businesses were moving to Texas. A lot of people up north, like myself, is this the right one? No, this ain't the right one, but it's gonna be today. But anyway, a lot of people from up north were um were migrating and transitioning to um to Houston as well, the Houston area. So it was just a lot, y'all. So if you're coming from California and and you see these houses over here in Texas. I'm just going to say Houston area. You know, the whole greater Houston area. Uh, 45 out. Uh, you know, right here in the down, right down, right in downtown Houston and no more than an hour out. If you trying to um get a house, it was terrible. Because the people from California, they see a house uh, 1,800 square feet 
here in Texas selling for $120,000, a home that size would sell probably a half million and up in, um, in California. Okay, so here you go. Um, I'm here. I'm from Cali. I'm here. I live in Houston. You know, not, you know, I'm speaking as a native who already lived here. And they're out here in the market shopping. And they are getting outbidded terrible because the people in California, this is chump change to them. Like, oh shit. I can get a uh 1800 square foot house for $120,000. And then so this is what happens. You get a bidding war. So the people who live here, they're used to seeing the houses at that price, the 120, right? And that square footage and stuff. So you got the, the out-of-towners from Cali and further up north, further, further up than Virginia, you know, because that's this coin, okay? And um, they're, they're bidding 40, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 plus over the asking, the asking um, price. So who do you think is going to win that bid? The people coming from California, the people migrating, period. I'm going to say up north from Cali. Those people are was eating up the market because it wasn't nothing to them. Nothing. You And then, and then you know, you got everybody in their mama like, oh, okay, this was going on in the housing market. Let me put my house on the sale. On the sale. Let me put my house on the market for sale. Okay? Let me put my house on the market for sale. And, um... They care. They put their house on the market for sale. They go find an apartment to live in for a little bit and find them another house. You know what I'm saying? That that's how volatile the market was. People, well, I ain't gonna say was is, but I'm just saying when I was looking, that's definitely how volatile. The that's that's what took me so long to find a house, y'all, because the market was not a buyer's market. Clearly, clearly. A, no yeah it was not a buyer's market it was a seller's market so the sellers had the bigger advantage okay but anyway with all that being said finally found a home <sighs> prep for the move i'm here boom so i you know i was going back and forth for about probably about a month and a half two months or whatever just trying to prep for the big move and you know whatever whatever so but i'm here now permanently and um I'm looking forward to the next chapter in my life. Okay. So y'all brows are done, right? Next, I'm going to do what I want to do next. Okay. So next I'm going to do foundation. Y'all going to think I'm crazy. Um, listen, I'm late to the game. But nobody told me how good this shit is. I, I think everybody got their own opinions or whatever, whatever. But anyway, nobody told me how good this shit is. Um, I don't have the original anymore. I ran out. And I never re-upped on it because I did get the powder. You know, the powder, right? So anyway. But I had, I couldn't resist because I was at Sephora. And it was on sale for 16 bucks. So I was like, <laughs> just <laughs> why not? All right, but here's the kicker. I'm not. Just watch what I do. As I run my mouth. So I'm just going to put a couple of couple of pumps here. That's it. And then I'm just dabbing around like this. Um, and y'all see what I'm doing. I'm really just hitting the center of my face. Okay. And this color is four. This color is 450. The thing is, it's, it's like I'm an in-betweener. And um, I will say my skin tone has changed a lot over the past couple of years and stuff like my face is darker than everything right now it's just it's whatever right so anyway now i'm just doing it in this the front the center part of my face so now i'm just gonna go like this and, and the reason why i'm just doing it like this and i'm not gonna do no um maybe i should i will i'll go back and do it i wasn't gonna put a little any eyeshadow on i'll just do like a little simple neutral color on the lid i'm telling you this this is called a simple face so this simple face you either do one lid eyeshadow or no eyeshadow and you just blend it you know after you finish doing your your brows so this is all i'm doing right right here in the center dinner dinner dinner, dinner of my face y'all will see why later 
So I'm doing it like this because, yes, it's a foundation, but it's more of a concealer cover-up right now, okay? So, yeah. Concealer cover-up. So that's it. All right. So now, next, I'm going to do this. What do I want to do? Yeah, I'm going to do this next. All right. So now, I want to do my under eye. Not going to go crazy. This is a simple regular day glass, my glass face, right? So this is another Fenty. This is color 410, okay? And I ain't doing nothing spectacular. I'm just going to put enough to do what I want it to do. I'm doing a football stripe. Y'all know, or sports stripe, because you know the guys put the under their face. That's where they want the sun to hit. So when they're trying to catch fly balls and shit, the sun is hitting here and not in their eyes. Okay, so anyway, same concept. When we go out there, we want the sun to hit all this and give us this immaculate glow. Okay, so anyway, ain't got to be fancy. Boom, that's it. That's all I'm putting it right there. Now, take my same sponge that's already damp. Damp it a little bit more. We're going to just sit here. Let it do whatever it do for a few minutes. Now, I don't even remember where I left off. So, yeah, I moved. And I'll tell y'all how volatile the market is, right? So, while we wait in, Fenty, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. And I'm just going to go like this real quick. And go up, people. Because I'm trying to snatch the face. Don't come down. You're going up at an angle. I'm going to get up under here. Get up under here. I'm going to do something here. Some here. Y'all will see. Y'all will get the method to the madness, okay? So anyway, um, the move, y'all. Let's talk about this move. Like I said, you can never prepare enough for a move. If anybody knows me, y'all, they people know I like to prep. Like, I was prepping. Like, I would say, this day I would pack this room up or make sure I had this stuff. This is how much I want packed up by this time of the month or whatever, whatever. And then this day, I want everything that's supposed to be packed, packed. So that's that's how basically I was, was supposed to roll, all right? In the beginning, I wasn't doing that. I was just being lackadaisical. I was being lazy. and um, But I know me. I thrive under pressure. So... But I did not wait to the last minute, but I could have started packing sooner than later. But I was just sitting here thinking I was in I was in a townhouse, two bedroom townhouse, um, one bath, one and a half bath. And you know, one of the bedrooms weren't it wasn't even occupied because my daughter is gone to school, so all her stuff was already gone and everything. So I, and I, I just said to myself, oh, I ain't got that much to pack. Let me tell you something. You really don't know how much shit you have until you start packing. Okay? So, now, now, let me do this. Now, I'm just taking the... What do you call it? This contour thing. And I'm just blending all this out. Okay? And then coming up here. And I'm going to do the same right here. Yeah. And then I'm going to do this. Blend all this. But anyway. Oh, no. All right, yeah, I got to hold on. Let me get a plug. Let me get a charger. Because I just saw that my battery is about to die. All right. So, this is what I'm doing. All right. And then, I'm going to go ahead. I didn't do my nose part. Let me just do the nose part. I don't really have ordered or nothing no more. Because, y'all, I barely be wanting to do a face anymore. And that's on everything. So, let me blend this like so. And we're going to do that. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna take some of this uh anesthet not anesthetic, the Sasha Buttercup. And I don't bake no more. I just pat it till it's in. Okay. That's what I do. I pat it till it's all soaked in. I just think baking was just over drying to me. That's me personally, just over drying. So, I, yeah. But um, let me do this. I'm gonna walk off camera for a minute, not even a minute, a few seconds. Okay. All right, and then, like I said, I just do it until my skin soaks it in. All right, all right, I'll be right back, y'all. I got, yeah, so like I said, I just pat it in until it soaks into the skin, all right? So that's that. Let me do this real quick before I forget. I'm just gonna take some of this. And I'm just gonna do a lid color, that's it. And keep it moving. So anyway, what color do I want to do? I got navy blue on. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Some kind of taupe color, but just something soft and simple, y'all. Hold that, pull that lid a little bit. And that's all you gotta do. Nothing fancy. It ain't gonna be nothing fancy. That's it. And then I'm just making sure they look even. And then let me see what color that was. I don't know what color is called. Oh, yeah, I do. It's called. It's called Berlin. It's so tiny. But anyway, it's this color right here that I just put on my lid. Then I'm just going to take this, this little mocha right here with this brush. And I'm just going to go like this. There's nothing fancy about the eyes. I'm just blending it so it won't look like. I have rough, rough um color, you know, just blending the color and so I want, the edges won't look so rough. That's it. Cause I'm only doing one lid color. That's it. I'm telling you y'all, this is the most simplest face ever. So like I said, I'm here. Let me tell y'all something. So it's moving day. It's moving day y'all. Let's just go and skip the moving day. Look, see, I, the damn Anastasia. I can't. But anyway, moving day, y'all. Yeah, let's go back some more. Let's go back to maybe somebody wants to know why I moved. Why I moved. Um, I've been wanting to move for years, but you know, I couldn't be selfish. Like, not like this was the most patient I have been in years. Normally, if I say I want to do something, I'm doing it and I'm gone, right? You know, but I got to consider my beautiful kids. And, you know, I waited for the youngest one to finish high school and get started off with college and everything. And then, you know, COVID came. And then when COVID came, I was able to start working from home with the job. So I was like, oh, and, you know, because at first I was trying to, I was looking for jobs in the state I wanted to go to, well, the, a few states I wanted to go to because I hadn't narrowed it down yet. And, um, because, you know, I'm trying to move with a job, you know, I, when I was young, I, when I did my move to Florida a long, long time ago, I ain't had no job. I just saved money up, had about, I had, a, you know, about three, four months of money saved for rent and all that stuff. Um, and, you know, I said, I'm going to find me a job in between that window. So I wouldn't um, bleed my, deplete my savings and stuff, you know? So 
All right. So like, yeah. So, but this time, I don't need. I'm older, and I'm just like, eh. That's I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm not gonna do it the other way. So I'm gonna move a job and everything. So, cause nothing's guaranteed no more, man. That's just. I'm taking this. Um, is this Turks and Caicos? I really want Turks and Caicos. And um. All right, this Turks and Caicos. I'm just oh, um, you know that Fenty I put on. I'm just that's all. Uh, like I'm just sealing it with some. That's all. Uh, like yeah, you know, I ain't no professional. I'm just here. And um, but yeah, so you know, take that. I'm just blending. blending. Mm -hmm. but see how you can still see my blemishes and stuff my skin is not perfect y'all that's that's what i mean by still having a natural looking face where you can still see my flaws okay i'm not trying to hide nothing i don't know i just felt like that wasn't i didn't get it good enough all right so anyway but yeah that's what i mean by keeping still keeping a natural looking face even with the makeup on. All right. Because I'm not beating it to the guys. I'm not caking it. You can still see my flaws. But I still want. I just wanted to look even toned. Okay. So anyway. I. What was I saying? Oh. So yeah. Um, finally. I narrowed it down to three states. Then I was like. Okay. Here we go. Boom. Texas. All right. Somebody's going to say why Texas. I'm just like. For me it was the weather. For me weather. You know. Um, you know, back home we have winter, spring, summer, fall. Um, you know, Texas weather is usually decent year round, but I don't know what's going on with 2021 because Texas had an ice storm. It's it's just a lot going on in Texas in the year 2021, weather wise. But it is what it is. I did let that deter me. You know, I'm still here. And um, but and but not not just the weather, the people, the energy is different here. Yeah, you know, we can call it a black mecca, a black hub, but it ain't shit like Atlanta, okay? It's when when we talk about Southern hospitality, baby, it's Houston. Well, I ain't gonna say Houston. I'm gonna say it's the great state of Texas because I've been to a few states in Texas. Shout out to the new gig, you know, because I get to travel and go to different spots. But anyhow, so, but yeah, every place I've been, in texas everybody has been hospitable okay so the hospitality is bomb you know and as an entrepreneur i like to talk to different people get ideas and hear other people's stories nobody's walking around here like i ain't telling my story or i ain't going to put nobody else on because this i i want to i want to eat i want to eat no people will t share tell you things give you tips they want everybody to eat. It's plenty of food here, people, for all of us to eat. Okay, so that's the one of the. Those are the main reasons why I chose Texas because I feel like once I get settled and you know everything, I feel like I can my business can go can flourish even more. You know, here in this vicinity, this this great state. Okay, so now y'all, we almost there with this face. Next thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some blush on because I already did the contour, did a little bit of um a little bit of whatever. I'm gonna go with no I wanna, I'm gonna go with this y'all know I love this amber rose from Mac. But um what is it? Do I even got any blush from Fenty? Actually I do. I got this. I don't know if it's gonna show up good though. Yeah, I don't want to. Let me see. I know it's something else I got in here I could use as a blush for Fenty. You know, I was trying to keep the Fenty face. But, I don't see it. I see that one. Maybe next time. That's a highlight. Is this a blush? I don't know. All right, I'm going to go with this matte blush right here. Because I like this one. Because it's kind of like a highlight and blushing one. So come up, people. You we snatching faces. So come up with the blush. Okay. I love blush. Y'all see me swirling. I love blush. Come on up here. I 
don't know. I don't see this one too good on me. So like I said, this is more like a highlight type. Well, I see it now. All right, let's get it. It's really soft and subtle. All right, I'm going with a different one. I knew I should have went rosy. I'm trying to switch it up. I'm not going to. I should have just stuck with the amber rose. So that's what we're doing. Amber rose. Amber rose. It's really soft, but it gives you just enough warmth. Just to, see that? Just enough. Not a whole lot. Just enough. Swirl, 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 and come up because I'm snatching the face, people. <sighs> snatching the face. I'm giving myself a facelift without a face, without the the uh, scalpel and knife. Okay. <laughs> the let's go. Anyway, that's it. All right. So I'm almost done, people. I don't even know if I'm able to finish the story by the time I finish this face. So anyway. But that's why I chose Texas. I'm here, right? And um, yeah, I know I got to check the brows. Ironically, I didn't check them much. All right, so boom. All right, now I am going to put some liner on, lip liner, because I'm almost done. It's a wrap. Just a little chocolate liner, you know, little, nothing fancy. Because we just wanted to look like just natural as possible. I'm give I'm going to give y'all, um, I'm going to give y'all, damn, what's the show called? Scandal. I'm going to give y'all Scandal, Olivia Pope Scandal lips, okay? So... She got that soft pink, and then a, it's like she uses her natural brown lip color that looks like a liner, which I could have did it without the liner, but I'm, I already put the liner on. I didn't think about giving y'all the Olivia Pope until I was putting on the lip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Fenty um, Boss Gloss, I guess is what it is. The cream one. Y'all remember the cream that came out a year ago. And we're going to go like this. And I'm not even going to put it on top of the liner. I'm going to put it right in the center where there's no liner, obviously. Y'all see what I'm doing. I'm going to give y'all this Olivia Pope. Give me a second. And then you blend it together. Olivia Pope with Sheen. <laughs> and then last but not least, well, not last but not least, but hold on. I ain't even putting no mascara on. Hold the phone. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing nothing fancy. So I didn't prime my lashes today, okay? Normally I prime, and y'all know my favorite primer. But if I'm going out, I'll put the primer on. Y'all know what I say about primer. Primer just gives your lashes a perm, a temporary perm. It just helps extend your lashes out. Okay. See the difference? I ain't, like, I ain't doing nothing. All right? So simple. All right. I got one more thing to do. I ain't done yet. Because I know y'all like, um, aren't you missing something? Yeah, I ain't done it yet. Hold on. Let me do this. I always just like to make sure my lashes are spread out. That's why y'all see me do it like this. Because I just make sure they're spread out. And not clumped together. Okay. And that's another good thing for the primer. They actually separate your lashes too for you. All right, so that's it. Let me come back with the... Because, you know, when I put the, the mascara on, like that. So I just want to get that mascara out the way. No harsh lines. That's all I was doing that for the first time around. But the second time around, I actually got a little, little bit of mascara on my... Eyelid. But anyway, so, people. 
I lied. Two more things. You ready? Last. We about to finish this face. Oop, wrong color. So, the reason why I just used a little bit of that liquid foundation from Fenty. I, it was more using it more as a concealer. You know, another another type of concealer. But I didn't want to put it all over my face. and I, Less is more people. So, even though I didn't put no foundation on the outer part of my face, I just focused on the center. I'm using this Fenty um what do you call it pro filter foundation this is the powder right so i'm just gonna swirl it around i got my matte stipple brush and i'm just gonna go like this i'm finishing off my face and we blending everything in Get right up under there. And you dab, guys. You see how I'm just, you don't, you don't go, no. You swirl it here and you dab like this. Get up under that chin. That's the only time you're going to see me do anything like this. Just get up under that chin. I know. I meant to put this on before I did the, the gloss. Cause you know, but you know, uh, get this beautiful nose and blend everything in. That's it. That's it, y'all. That's it. Now, and the only thing left to do is set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. Set it. Set it. And forget it. So listen, ain't nobody telling me about this shit either. <laughs> either. This is the Fenty. Um, what do they call it? What it do? Is that what they call it? What it do? But anyway, this is the refresher, but you can use it as a finishing spray as well. And it feels so good. Listen. I can never use too much of this stuff. Baby. Let me tell you something. And that's it, guys. That is the face, baby. Simple face. Okay? Simple face. No problems. No smoke. So, um, beautiful. Let me finish up this story real quick. So, yes. I'm here in the great state of Texas. And, um... Like I said, I feel like my business can thrive. I wanted to start the next chapter of my life here. Um, I, and I just needed some. It was just stale in Virginia. You know, it's just stale. Um, and I just felt like I needed new energy in my life. And I, you know, the, the best way to get new energy is just a whole new place. Meaning I got my house. Um, and just a, just a whole new state. I just needed to get the heck out of VA. I was just... Not here for VA no more. VA, I did everything I needed to do in VA. I loved, I lost, I have my kids. I moved out of state one time, came back home, and I'm good. I just know I it, it was time for me to make another move out of the great state of Virginia. And I'm so glad I did. So, but anyway, you know, life after 40 has been, yeah. It has been. It's been a journey, beautifuls. And you guys have been on the journey with me. And I appreciate it. Everything. And, um, hold on. You know, I got to get my smell goods on, y'all. Get my smell goods on. And, um, yeah, it's been interesting. And I just feel like I'm, I'm just on a new chapter, a new journey of life. And, yeah, I'm here. I'm here as much as I can be. But um, it was fun. I just, you know, this is how I wanted to just like come dive back in. Why not do a face and everything? And I know y'all like, girl, bitch, you got to turn it back on. Yes, I do. Yeah, it's not warm today, people. It's like, it was like 57. I think the high is only going to be like 60 something today, like 63 or whatever. So it's a little nip nip. The sun is out though. It's, it's beautiful and everything. I am going to run some errands, so, but this is the finished look, people. Finished look. <laughs>